Welcome to the Base Home Media channel. Today we'll take a look at earthquakes. We'll explain what earthquakes are, how they are created and more. An earthquake is what happens when tectonic plates of our planet suddenly slip past one another. The surface where they slip is called a fault or fault plane. The location below the Earth's surface where the earthquake starts is called the hypocenter and the location directly above it on the surface of the Earth is called the epicenter. Earthquakes strike suddenly and can occur at any time throughout the year. Smaller earthquakes might cause minor damage like cracked windows, but larger earthquakes can cause death and massive destruction. The Earth has four major layers, the inner core, outer core, mantle and crust and an earthquake occurs when large sections of the Earth's crust, called tectonic plates, shift as we said before. There are seven primary tectonic plates and several smaller, secondary and tertiary plates. Because of the underlying movement in the Earth's mantle, these plates can shift. This shifting of one plate causes it to rub against or push under or over an adjacent plate. The place where two plates meet is called a fault line and it's at these fault lines that earthquakes occur. Earthquakes are often followed by smaller earthquakes called aftershocks which can occur over days or weeks as the plates settle into equilibrium. Magnitude tells us how strong and big the earthquake is. Earthquakes are classified by their magnitude on the Richter's magnitude scale, ranging from minor to great class. Minor class starts at magnitude 3 and ends at magnitude 3.9, meaning each class after starts with a round number and ends at 0.9 magnitude, except of the great class, which starts at magnitude 8, and goes beyond up to 10, which has never happened before in recorded history. Regarding the magnitude scale, we will look at both ends of the scale, for the rest you can pause the video. The magnitude 2.5 or less means, the earthquake is usually not felt by humans, but can be recorded by seismograph. We have around 500,000 to 900,000 of these happening each year. On the other side, magnitude 8 or greater means great earthquake that can destroy communities near the epicenter. Great earthquakes happen once in every 5 to 10 years. Lastly, we will look at where the earthquakes strike the most. One of the places that earthquakes love is China. Since 1900, they experienced around 160 earthquakes, which is the highest number of any country. Most of these earthquakes happen in the southwest region of the country and the rescue and recovery is very challenging due to poor infrastructure. Another earthquake prone country is Indonesia. Since 1900, they experienced around 115 earthquakes of significant magnitude. That is, because Indonesia is very close to so-called Ring of Fire. Ring of Fire is a path along the Pacific Ocean characterized by active volcanoes and frequent earthquakes. Its length is approximately 40,000 kilometers. 90% of Earth's earthquakes occur along its path, including the planet's most violent and dramatic seismic events. Speaking of Ring of Fire, let's round up our list by mentioning Japan. Like Indonesia, Japan is near the Ring of Fire, which makes it highly vulnerable to catastrophic earthquakes. To counter these deadly earthquakes, Japan debuted a system in 2007 that detects early shock waves via a network of more than 1000 seismometers around the island nation. The system then pings phones, TVs and radios across the country, stopping trains and providing people with a few extra seconds to prepare for the worst. Other countries suffering from earthquakes a lot are Iran, Turkey, Peru, the United States, Italy, Afghanistan, India, Greece and Mexico. Earthquakes are dangerous and deadly, but the Japan example shows us we are doing our best to protect ourselves and our homes. Did you ever experience an earthquake yourself? Feel free to share your story in the comment section. We would like to thank you for watching and hope you learned something new.